Hi everyone, welcome to Design Lab Builds, a series where we show you projects that we're making here at Supply Frames Design Lab that'll hopefully inspire your own entries into this year's Hackaday Prize. Hackaday Prize Challenge 3 is Hack It Back, which is all about taking old electronics gear and giving it new life. So on today's episode, we're going to show you how we took an old fan and gave it new purpose by turning it into a simple CO2 monitoring device. Due to the COVID pandemic, people are more aware of the air quality in common spaces. And with more people returning to work and other collaborative spaces, we wanted to develop an effective and affordable system for monitoring CO2 levels and activating air circulation measures using temperature and humidity data. And the best part is you can build this yourself with just an old fan and a short list of additional components. With Hack It Back, we are repurposing existing technology. So we took an old fan and gave it new life. The project has two components, the nodes and the hub. The nodes are scattered around any given closed space. It can be a classroom, an office, anywhere. And the hub is connected to the outlet. It has a plug where you connect the fan. The nodes take readings from around that space and when the CO2 levels get unusually high, they send the signal to the hub, which then lets the electricity flow, turning on the fan. What happens when you're in a closed space? Think of an office with all its windows closed. You probably don't get a lot of pollution readings, but you do have a lot of CO2. In the main hub, we again have another CO2 sensor. This one is for additional averaging. We can have up to three or four nodes scattered around the space, and it's important to have averages. I designed the hub with Solid Edge as well, and it allowed me to see the whole assembly easily, you know, so I was able to determine dimensions, fittings, everything before 3D printing and assembly. Here is the final result of the hub and the nodes printed and assembled. We'll take a look at some of our 3D prints that we've got. And these are SLA <coughs> resin prints that First we'll cure and our little UV light box here. And after an hour or so of them getting brittle, we'll go ahead, nip off the uh, excess support structure. We also have the metal screens that we wanna make. And a way that I found out for doing those was laser cutting piece of plastic applying some double stick tape to one side and then applying our mesh onto the back and then following the buck and cutting gingerly around it. We also have the interior of our closure for our node. This is kind of the final result. Here we have a CO2 sensor and a temperature sensor that are going to communicate with this hub device. On this device, there's gonna be a fan. We are using an Arduino Nano and we're using the Arduino IDE to flash the firmware. Thanks for watching this episode of Design Lab Builds. We hope we inspired you to reimagine old electronics around your house. If you'd like to learn more about the Hackaday Prize or enter, go to prize.supplyframe.com. We can't wait to see how you hack it back.